Okay, today I interview Paul and Jono and guys, how is the situation here after the apartheid how, between black people and white people? Well, it's still pretty tense, but it's gotten better since the apartheid. But quite interestingly enough, um, black people are actually fighting against their own crime. <laughs> So yeah, I, my experience is that it really depends where you are spatially. So if you are in somewhere where there are like the concentration of um, the local people is higher and they're not really exposed to white people on a daily basis, then there will be more, they'll have like more reservations. Uh, whereas if you're in somewhere like a city, then there's like not really much tension. So there's always a little bit of underlying tension but there's a lot of uh, civil behavior and people will treat each other like equally. So I think it has improved a lot. Um, but obviously there are some instances where there'll be protests and in those instances uh, then obviously the, the uh, preconceptions or the attitudes will, of the past will flare up. So that's just because people are uneducated. Yeah. Well, I also think it's just part of like uh, the human condition. So, people, humans in general, will have um, prejudice, and so in those instances where there's a lot of tension or duress, then that'll come to the fore, or, or it'll be exposed or brought to the surface. So that's my experience. Mm. And we also have this situation um, with the farmers, where the black people kill the farmers because they don't like the boot. The boot is like a um, African South African. Right? Yeah, that happens. Yeah. So that's generally like that'll be in rural areas, yeah. uh, pastoral areas, whereas in, in urban areas, it's a lot less tension. Mm. Yeah, I have been in the mall in the in the city and it was pretty cool, black and white people in the shops. In general, it's not too bad. I, I think it's, get, it's a lot better than what it used to be. Yeah, no. Although we weren't around in those days, it was a little bit before our time. Yeah, we no, were days. maybe like... Um, so it was in 1994 that it's, it changed, that's when apartheid was uh, done away with and we were three or four years old. So we don't really have memories from that time. And there also have been instances of reverse racism with black against black with the xenophobic attacks. And that, I think that was about 10 years ago. Right? That's more recent. Um, yeah. yeah, after 2000 for sure. And when the immigrants come from the neighboring countries and then there's, a lot, of, there's a lot of violence. They, they put burning tires on the people and they get burnt to death, it's pretty crazy. Yeah, so that yeah. happened I think because uh, there's a high unemployment rate in South Africa so um, and then there's obviously a lot of competition and so if there's immigrants coming into the country and they are getting jobs that the locals would want, uh, then there's obviously a lot, a of, lot tension of tension yeah. and, and that results in like protests and often violence. Like I remember a guy being stabbed, one of the immigrants. Um, so that's obviously something that, that's what we remember. But generally, I think it's, it's more peaceful. Yeah, and, and also recently the situation with the universities. Yeah. And the black people were protesting. But that's like, that almost seemed like it followed an international yeah. um, trend. Because I think that started in, in Europe. The fees must fall. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Everything the must fall. Yeah. The yeah. fall lists. Yeah. <laughs> That's what. That's actually what I meant by some of the people are uneducated. They just don't know better. Mm. Yeah. And well, there's not really much else to say on this topic. Mm. Okay. Thank you, guys. Yeah.